Oh, hello, Chi Chi Lux here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I store my bags using the IKEA pack system. Let me just tell you off top, if you're thinking about it, just go get it. It's a bomb system. I love how customizable it is. It's just a really, really phenomenal storage unit for just everything you can think of. It works as a closet, it works as bag storage, it works as a dresser, and it's just great. So I'm just gonna go through how I actually set up my pack system. Just so you know, your girl built this herself with her own two hands and a drill. There are two heights and two depths. I chose the shortest height, but the deepest depth. And there was a specific reason for that because I know you're looking at it and you're like, girl, you have room up top. Why didn't you just get the tallest one? This is true indeed, but I had to take into account how this thing was going to get up two flights of stairs. <laughs> just because it fits your space, doesn't mean it fits your place. You gotta make sure that you're able to maneuver it up any stairs or corners because girl, you're gonna be back at the return <laughs> center trying to return this and get the shorter size. I chose the white one. They have beautiful colors. They have this beautiful gray that I was, oh baby, I was two seconds from buying. But I decided to go with white. I wanted it to be nice and light and airy in here. So I just, chose to go with white because everything else in this room is white for the most part. If you remember my early, early videos here on this channel, you guys saw my hymnest chest in the background when I used to film. And I love that chest. A lovely lady bought it off of me when I actually moved into this new place. So I was like, you let me take my money and invest in the IKEA packs. And had I known about the IKEA packs at my old place, I would have purchased that but I had saw someone had the hymnas chest it had the glass doors on it with the drawers and it just made sense but the only problem I had with that hymnas chest is that it wasn't deep the nook at my old apartment was exactly like this a little bit bigger and I just felt like I could have had more things in there because it was deep enough to house a pack system I definitely could have fit the larger one in there but <laughs> We live and we learn, don't we? Because I have the shorter unit, I'm able to display all of my favorite boxes from my, some of my favorite brands, which honestly, I really dig that because it adds a little bit more life to my space. And I just like looking at the pretty boxes. Like who don't like displaying their pretty boxes? And if I would have had it all the way up to the top, it would have just been extra space up at the top because I don't have any other uh, bags to fill it with. Even though I had this pack system for a very short time, it has already grown with me with the addition of my Brandon Blackwood bag, my size store bag. So I definitely have room to grow. At the top, I kind of just have my bigger bags. Because the bags are so big, I already know what they are. If I ever have to grab for it, I'm not like looking to see if there's something small behind there because even though I'm 5'7", I need to make sure that nothing gets lost in the back of a unit. If you're interested in knowing what's in my bag collection, I'll link my entire Louis Vuitton collection video and SLG video in the description box, just in case you want to see it. But I have a couple of my Louis Vuitton bags here, but in the second row, I do have my coach bags. I just feel like my coach bags weren't worthy enough to be on display, but they weren't worthy enough to be sitting in a closet either. So I was like, you know what, let me put them back there. There are a couple that I really do love, but most of them I am holding on to until my nieces get a little bit older and they want to, you know, look into spending their money with luxury goods. So I figure I can give them maybe a bag <laughs> from my coach collection. and that'll be their, the start of their luxury journey if they choose to go into it. And plus I can see them, so I, it will drive me to actually grab for them from time to time. Some of y'all will remember my little brooch hack video. So I still have a couple of my brooches on a few of these bags. If you didn't see that video, definitely check that out. Honestly, this is my favorite shelf. I actually had this shelf on this one because I wanted it to be eye level. Because I film when I'm sitting down, this is the shelf that you guys see the most. So I was like, this is going to be the star table, the star shelf. 
So I have all of my goodness bags here. These are some of the bags that I reach for the most, but I also have my ESR totes here. And because I have so many of them, I was like, you know what, let me just put them all in the middle and just switch out the first one every couple of days. So I feel like they're in rotation a little bit more, but these are like all my structured bags. And in this column, I kind of have all my Gucci stuff that all the way in the back and then, you know, another Brandon Blackwood bag. But I really just love this shelf. This shelf makes me so happy because it just, it's that girl right here. I just. I just find a lot of joy and it it just worked out perfectly and that's this is what you guys see blurred out in the background speaking of shelves I was 2.5 seconds close to getting the glass shelves but I did opt for the solid white ones because number one they were in stock number two they were cheaper and number three I don't know I think it would have bothered me if these two shelves were glass because you'll be able to see up top and you know sometimes you have your handles for the bags like draping over and stuff like that and I don't think I would have really loved that look so I decided you know what I was tired of waiting for this pack system let me just go get the shelves and it worked out beautifully now low-key I do miss the glass doors that was on the Hymnes that I used to have. But I do love the fact that I can kind of just grab and go and get to where I'm going. So I'm glad I didn't go with any of the glass things. Plus with glass, you are prone to seeing the dust a lot more versus the, the regular shelves. And I was like, I don't want to see that dust. I'll dust when I want to. Not because I see it and it's irritating me, you know? So. I'm glad I did go for the shelves and they've been quite a joy. On to the drawers. I ended up getting five of these framed front drawers. First of all, these drawers look beautiful. So happy I waited for these drawers because this whole system, I had to wait a very, very long time for. This just gives a little bit more pizzazz to the drawers versus having the, the straight block one. And I just think they're they're great. All of the drawers are soft clothes drawers. I ended up with five drawers. However, that was not the original plan. I was going to get two of the pullout drawers to display like my SLGs and put my jewelry on it. But of course, like I he always does, they were out of stock. So I did not want to wait any further and plus I was like all right I can probably add on to it once they do become available but if I did purchase both of those it would have brought my dresser probably up to here and I would have lost this particular shelf so it actually worked out when I move again hopefully it'll be a forever home or a bigger home with higher <laughs> higher ceilings uh, I will get the pull-out drawers, but right now the actual like full-size drawers are working out perfectly for me. Just like the Hymnes that I had in my old apartment is filled with my SLG and it just is perfect. I did opt to get the felt lining that IKEA offers. It's light gray. It's great. I was like, I'm getting those because I didn't want to damage the interior of these drawers and plus I was going to like line it with something else like drawer liners but honey after building all these <laughs> no I didn't have the time nor the patience I just wanted to buy something and put it in and not have to measure and cut and things are jet nope sis ain't had time for it mm -mm. so I highly suggest you get the felt lining and call it a day but all of my SLGs are in here but I haven't decided truly how to organize it. I was just happy to get the stuff in here and out of the boxes. But I have like my, all my SLGs and I had this the same way in my last apartment, but I wanna be able to display some of the items that I do have. And I just don't know how to organize it within the drawer. So if you guys have any ideas on how I can do that, please let me know in the comment section. I'd love to know. But I just have a couple of things on display because I don't have boxes like my old coach wallets, you know, they're, this wallet I freaking adore. 
but you know, I have some sunglasses, things that are easily reached, but I just haven't really truly learned how to organize this particular drawer yet. And I also keep any bag that I'm currently using and it came with a dust bag because I store my dust bags within the bags. I put them in the drawer so I know what is checked out from here. That's honestly the reason why I don't want to store my SLGs in the dust bags because you kind of want to keep your eye on your stuff, you know? So I'm still trying to figure it out and I'll get there. <laughs> it just won't be today, possibly this year either. But the other four drawers, I think you can only see four in total, but I actually have five drawers. The rest of this I use as my dresser. The Hemnes, although I really did love that unit, it just wasn't deep enough. All of my undergarments would be overflowing in those drawers and they only had three drawers as well and they were all different sizes. So it, it's just really nice to have drawers that are designated for, you know, my intimates of intimates. You know, so I have all my bras in one, my panties in the other, sock drawer. How do y'all organize y'all sock drawer? Because, Lord Jesus, like, it is so difficult to organize a sock drawer. I never really gave it any thought. I just kind of just throw my socks in there. Like, they're together, but I'm just like, how do you guys organize that? <laughs> I've been really trying to be a lot more organized in my life. And this is kind of one of the biggest steps, but that sock drawer has me like perplexed and then I have you know all of my swimsuits in another drawer and it just works out I love this as a dual unit so I have my bags on display I have a safe place for my SLGs I have my dresser because this is kind of my studio office I did actually buy like a small little valet it was like a little hook but it didn't fit, it was running into the wall. So I am gonna buy the pull-out valet. Because my closets are here, I wanna be able to, you know, hang up an outfit right there and just really make this feel like an actual like closet closet. Even though this whole thing is an investment, I honestly say just invest in it. Definitely play around with their PAX planner because you'll get that general idea of how much it's gonna run you, but honestly, it's worth every it's just a bomb piece i hope you guys enjoyed this video check out some of my other videos and i will catch you in the next one bye